For the Montreal Alouettes coming out of the bye week, they were hoping to have a smooth return to Percival Molson Stadium. Uh, it was anything but. There were a lot of field goals and missed opportunities, Paul Lapelise, but really it was all about the defense being able to help get this thing done with a 25-18 victory. Yeah, and the talk of the bye week was we need to affect the quarterback more. We need to get more pressure. We need to take him out of his rhythm. That's what they wanted to spend time doing. That's what they did. Two interceptions, one for a touchdown. Cambionento with a great touchdown. Jake never had rhythm today. There were three sacks. Bryce Notre got one. Jamal Davis got himself one. Avery Ellis got in. So you had pressure on the quarterback. They never felt that they were in any type of rhythm in this, the course of this game. Yeah, KB and Ento, sensational. The big pick six that really changed the tide. And if you look at the score sheet, it's what won them the football game. He's at field level with our Kenzie Lavon. Well, KB and big win tonight. What made you guys the better team? Um, like I said, um, at halftime, we just continued to execute uh, and just follow the game plan, make the calls, communicate. And at the end of the day, that's all you can do and play your hardest. That's all, that's all we talk about, play hard and execute. Your first pick six here tonight, what did you see on the play? What did I see on the pick six? I mean, I had my man, he threw it to him, and I mean, I picked it. Like I said, it, nothing more than that, um, just good, good eye discipline and made a play on the ball and, you know, just made a play. Well, it's funny. It was a few back pedals, and then you just jumped. Like, when did you know you could start moving forward? Oh, uh, you talking about on the pick? Oh, uh, when he ran the out route, I ain't got no choice but to break. I ain't got no choice but to break with him. If I don't, you know, that would have been a catch and possibly a touchdown the other way. So, like I said, just playing hard, good eye discipline, good hands. Well, this team came in with just seven sacks against three tonight. What can you say about this defensive core overall and their ability to rush the quarterback? Um, we got some dogs up front. When they, when he, when Coach dialing it up, and they, and they could get the pin their ears back. Like I know we had a lot of second and longs. I mean, it get tough for it. It get tough for any quarterback back there. So they, they rushed good today, and they really helped the coverage out. That's what people don't understand. You know, a good rush helps, helps coverage, and so that's what happened tonight. Congratulations on the win. Enjoy the game. Thank you. That is KB and Ento. I love that coach. In the what did you see on the interception? Just drove on it. What else am I supposed <laughs> to guy. do? I, I went and got it. That's my man right there. But uh, for the Calgary Stampeders, three red zone trips tonight, and it was field goal, field goal, turnover on downs at the end of the game when they had a chance to throw it up for Luther Hakanavanu. That was a big time difference in this one. On the other side, the offense for the Montreal Alouettes, best statistical night, yes, for William Stanback. But outside of just numbers, his influence on the evening, it felt like it was the physical downhill 31 that we're used to in Montreal blue and red. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about defense. Defense? Keeping Calgary off the field allows William Stanbeck to get multiple opportunities with the ball. 15 carries, 86 yards, right? He tacked on three catches of 18 yards. But when this guy gets going, when he can turn his shoulders and work to the second level, he is very hard to bring down. He's got a low center of gravity, gets those shoulders down. I'm telling you, the DBs don't want to block this guy or don't want to tackle this guy he's he's done an outstanding job in this first game of really them featuring him as the guy right 86 yards like I said before like that's what they got to keep doing when you got a an offensive line that needs help in the pass protections run the football yeah absolutely here is William Stanback with Kenzie Lalonde well William a win is a win no better place to celebrate it than with your family here tonight how would you evaluate your team's efforts uh, it's just a blessing you know for us to come out here and do what we had to do we had a strong game plan and that's you know sticking with the run and we was we like I say all the time you know we executed at a high level and that's the number one objective is to come out here and just punch whoever's in front of us and punch them in their mouth from the beginning and and that's all we did and you did that 86 rushing hurts for yourself here tonight what was working for you Ah, man, just trusting it, just sticking with it, and just trusting my guys up front. You know, they're going to open the holes up for me, and that's what we emphasized this week in practice, and we got the job done. Named player of the game here tonight by the fans? That must mean a lot. Oh, yeah, it means a lot. You know, I seen my young guys getting there earlier in the weeks and everything, so I was like, man, I, I can't wait till I get a good game to get me and see what this feels like. So, you know, like I say, everything that's happening right now is a blessing. Congratulations on the win, Will. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. He's holding that thing like a national championship trophy <laughs> under his arms right now. You know how much William Stanback, longtime Montreal Alouette, loves to get some recognition from the Montreal fans. That running game of the Alouettes that was so successful tonight, it'll go on the road. We'll see whether or not it'll travel down to Hamilton as they'll take on the Tiger Cats, who will be without Bo Levi Mitchell after the major injury he sustained, unfortunately, here in Week 8 against the Ottawa Red Blacks. And for the Calgary Stampeders, they go back home to McMahon Stadium. They take on the still undefeated touchdown Atlantic champion, Toronto Argonauts.